praise the Lord it's great to be here um, to share a new revelation in the series revelation so I'm going to talk about a situation that is worse and the explanation and the conclusion so first I want to speak about the situation that is the worst Romans 8 35 to 38 the verse says, can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he long, no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or as persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Amen. So now I want to speak about this tree. Uh, uh, image we shared here this tree is next to my flat uh, so this is um, when uh, uh, research this was uh, this is a teak tree so the teak tree like one season I, I for a lot for a lot of years I've been living in that uh, house for almost like 20 years and I haven't recognized it but the past few months or years back is only when I realized that it is the same tree like few months the tree will not have leaves at all so you see the two images one image is without leaves and the other one is full of leaves blooming it has flowers there so I used to wonder I think it's a different tree I really didn't recognize it then later on we were just walking in the terrace I was like staring at the tree I was like this is the same tree so let me take a photo so when it never had leaves I took a picture and then after months uh, it usually it's like I think it sees it every six months the leaves fall and the next six months the leaves come up and I took an image and here is a comparison it's the same tree but the season two different seasons so what does that mean and then God gave me this revelation so the leaves and branches are are what are like our situations our situations so the verse here says that what if you have trouble or calamity so we know in the physical realm when we have a trouble or a calamity or a problem we immediately lose faith we immediately you know just go down we start mourning we start you know we just start get drowning in our pain but but again we see uh, we during persecution or or during troubles you know when we face all these opposition our spirit immediately what happens it it, it it just goes down you know a drop in faith sometimes we even lose the faith but then again God we could see in the last verse no despite all these things overwhelming victory is us through Christ who loved us so the love is constant that is God's love is constant nothing can change it now God knows we are mere humans and when trouble or calamity hits we will go down in faith we will be frowned we will be disappointed but that is not what counts here now see this tree here the leaves the branches have withered they are brown and they have gone like really uh, you know they are almost all the leaves are fallen like the little the tree is empty but that that but does that mean that the tree is dead no it's just in that particular time period it is just down but you see deep inside the tree is rooted to the ground the roots are strong the roots are lively the roots are still living and thriving and because the roots are so deeply rooted into the soil it it, 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 it grabs all the nutrients it grabs all the all the energy and after the you know the morning period that is when when all the you know the season the season where all the leaves are get withered after the withering period there comes the rejuvenation you see it's the same tree the same tree the same branches but with new leaves praise God because the roots are strong the roots have not withered the roots are strong and the tree is new again same we are just like the tree children of God when we go through calamities when we go through pain and situations we might you know fall down we might lose the faith but that doesn't mean we have lost God or God has lost us God knows our situation God knows our heart God knows that we are mere mortals and we might fail but 
See, that is what it is. We will not stay as a failure, but we will again rise up back because our roots are strong in Christ, not by our works or not by our strength, but by the power of God that rests within us. He Conclusion, God doesn't let go of you when calamities hit you, when persecutions hit you. He knows just like, you know, God had to go down three days he died and he rose up again he knows the same spirit he has entrusted in us so he knows though my child you know you know gets a setback that doesn't mean he or she is going to sit there and all. he's going to rise up from the ashes and he's going to live and she's going to live for me because the same spirit that dwells in christ dwells within us too so we are no longer failures but we have been given victory through christ jesus so always be rooted in christ from where your strength comes from and you'll never fail like share and subscribe and see you again with a new revelation and until then take care bye bye god bless you